Hi there, welcome to Ancient Space. I'm Paradox Gamer, and uh, I'm starting up this uh, brand new game uh, today. This is uh, real-time strategy in space, and it's a single player only. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through all the, the missions, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I've only played the first mission just to um, just to learn my ropes and stuff like that, so... Um, after that I'll be uh, on my own so uh, let's try a new game here it's uh, it's gonna be on ex uh, easy difficulty no hardcore mode and no tutorial I'm gonna show you what's going on on the screen once we get started there's really no need to go through the tutorial Admiral Thorinson recording. It's called the Black Zone because it will render sensors and telemetry useless. The result of two dark matter star systems colliding. It's a quagmire of anomalies, debris, cosmic storms, and it's expanding, enveloping our mining colonies. Amid rumors of Balathan sightings, the area has become a refuge for outlaws. Ten years to the day, of the loss of the Ulysses I, Dr. Willow Burke has managed to convince the government to escort a second expedition, this time funded by the Paradigm Research Cabinet, to see if these events are linked, and if possible, to stop them from continuing. It's gonna be one of those days. Sounds interesting. First mission is called Down in a Hole. Let's jump into it. Ulysses 2 in position at rendezvous point. UCS Olympus, we don't have your position. What's your status? Over. Colonel Edwin's reporting. We're having trouble reading you, Ulysses. I understand. We can't read your position. Try them again, Lieutenant. Olympus, do you read? The expedition is at the rendezvous coordinates. We cannot proceed without you. We'll need to protect the fleet until support arrives. Admiral, they'll be after our T cells. Yeah. Better strap in, Dr. Burke. This might get hairy. We're hit. Guidance systems offline. All units. Protect the cargo ships. Choose your targets. Weapons free. Tracy, get her back up on the comm ASAP. Mission parameter update. Arrival at Black Zone Outer Rim. To proceed inside, T-cell energy modules must be used for Hephaestus warp gate activation. T-cell cargo convoy must be escorted from depot in Sector 1. At least one container must survive. Ulysses 2 has been damaged and is disabled. It must be protected until the UCS Olympus arrives. Ulysses 2 will draw the enemy fire away from the convoy. Assist when required. Alright, so game's on. I have uh, paused it, so we'll just take a look around what's going on. Uh, let's start in the upper left corner here. You have uh, what is called Sector 1 and Sector 2. So the map is basically divided into several sectors. And uh, you can see each sector what's in it. How many enemies and uh, your ships will be here on the right. Currently I have control of uh, these three Lancers here. At the top you have uh, how much energy you have and uh, uh, H3 and how many replicants. In the top right corner we have uh, the goals of the mission. And let me just go ahead and choose these guys. So in the lower right corner you will see the stats of the Lancers, the hit points. You can see the speed, they're quite fast. Armor is medium, below medium. And then here the damage, you can see how effective they are against uh, different sizes of enemy ve uh, vehicles. 
So they are very effective against small targets, and they're also pretty effective against medium targets, but they are almost ineffective against large, extra large, and battleship uh, sizes. And then over here you can issue uh, orders, attack orders, movement orders, and uh, stance. And in the lower left corner you can see an overview map of the whole uh, mission with the sector 1 and sector 2. Okay, so the way you move around is uh, like this. You can move back and forth, you can move uh, side to side, like this, and you can move up and down. So it's a full 3D experience. And then you can also take your mouse and you can pan around like this. Okay, so you can basically go anywhere within this big circle. And if you hit this, uh, the tab, you get this uh, tactical overview. Where you can see from above or from any angle actually. You can see the tactical situation of the battle as it's uh, right now. So, in the middle here we have the cargo ships. They are moving from here and all the way over to here. And we have to protect them. The Ulysses is damaged and uh, stationary at this point. And we have our three uh, ships, our three lances right here. And uh, then over here we have all the enemy uh, ships, the red ones. So we have to protect Ulysses, it must not be destroyed. And at least one of the cargo ships must reach the end position here. Okay. So we can, uh, while we're paused, we can move anywhere around the map. The other ships you see here, they are allied ships. They should be green, but... Uh, Right now they have no indication, and they are fighting the uh, enemy ships. So, when we have three lances and they are effective against small or medium targets, we can go ahead and um, and attack some of the en small enemy vessels. So what you can do is you can uh, you can middle click on any ship. And you will zoom to them. You can zoom all the way in if you want. Zoom back out. So this is an extra large ship. And these are small. Let's see here. I like to have the camera a bit above. So you can... Uh, it's easier to get uh, an overview of, of what's going on. So as you can see here, two of the um, enemy vessels are approaching here. So let's go ahead and attack them. We just issue an attack command. And the rays you see going from our ship to their ship, they have a distinct color. In this case they're green, meaning their attack will be very effective. If the, if the, the rays are red, it means the attack will be ineffective. So if you, if you don't want to like micromanage and uh, go into every ship to see how effective how effective it is against another ship you can you can simply just assign an attack mode and then see by the color if the attack is going to be effective or not in this case it is going to be very effective as we uh, start out let's see our ship starts to move they'll move uh, toward the enemy and they'll start firing at it there you go they're singling out targets, so we'll have to protect each ship individually. So this is a uh, Ulysses that we have to protect. It's right here. And here you can see the um, the cargo ships lining up here. Now, as you can see, there are three enemies heading toward this cargo ship here. So let's get uh, let's get a move on over here. And we can use this ability here is uh, dash in order to uh, quickly get to where we want to be. So we'll enable dash and get get mayday, started. Mayday, Olympus, we're under attack. Requesting backup. Ulysses guidance offline. 
Cargo containers in danger. Keep on it, Mr. Tracy. So I've engaged those three enemies. I don't want them to uh, hurt my cargo ships. There's a lot of uh, explosions going on over there. That's the uh, essential pirate frigate approaching. Deploying invader class fighters. Okay, so what I was trying to say is that uh, we have a lot of uh, fighting going on over here between the uh, allied ships and the enemy ships. And let's see. The Ulysses is fine, nothing going on there. So the problem here now is that we have a large ship coming in and we're quite ineffective against it so uh, I'm not going to engage that in any way let's just see where they hit it oh we just got assigned two more ships let's see where they are here so this is a uh, invader ship and it's uh, effective against large extra large and the battleship types and ineffective against the small and medium types so that means we have two different ships two different kinds of ships that are uh, <coughs> effective against different targets and they have a special ability here to missile barrage so that is uh, an ability they can use against the small vessels Okay, so these two guys will attack the large ship and these three guys will go ahead and attack the small ships. That way it will be most effective. Here we go. Lancer lost. Mission essential object is taking heavy damage. I just lost the ship. Try the barrage. Mission essential object is taking critical damage. Mission essential object is taking heavy damage. I'm working on it. Let's just see how it's uh, going with our Ulysses. It's fine. Nobody's attacking Ulysses. So we'll just keep on fighting here. Mission essential object is taking critical damage. And they just keep coming. I think I'm gonna lose one of the cargo ships soon. Yep, just lost one. Mission 
Mission essential object is taking critical damage. Invader lost. I lost an invader. Invader lost. Both of them. That's not good. Hanging in there. Tracy, I want repair crews working on Ulysses. Mission parameter update. Repair the Ulysses 2 using rover units. Protect from ongoing pirate attack. Okay, so we got the rover here. And the rover is good at um, repairing uh, damaged ships and, um, and building bases. We'll get back to the bases soon. So uh, what he's doing now is he's uh, repairing the Ulysses. And I would like to repair some of my other ships as well. So I'm just flying this guy home. Yeah, I'm flying them all home here. Maintenance protocol engaged. Because once the Ulysses is uh, up and running, it's, uh, it's a pretty effective ship. Sir, I have a signal from UCS Olympus. This is Colonel Edwards. Backup is en route, but this magnetic storm is following our sensors. I'm having trouble putting your coordinates. Can you broadcast your position? Because we're offline. Almost done. Are there any nearby satellites we can tap into? Who's the signal? Hector, run a scan of the area. I'm sorry, Dr. Burr. Sensors are non-functional. We'll have to eyeball one the old-fashioned way. Maintain visual search pattern. Mission parameter update. We must help the UCS Olympus to find us by visually locating a satellite transmitter. Random energy signals indicate there may be one somewhere in Sector 2. Reachable by wormhole output. Send units to serve. They're right on top of each other. It's a bit, it's a bit difficult to see what is what here. Okay, so let's get rid of this guy. Once we have found one, we should secure and fortify the area around it in case more pirates attack before the Olympus can reach our position. And this one goes... Oh my god. Here? Avoid engaging the main pirate force. Okay. Here. Okay, it's been repaired, and we'll uh, go ahead and enter the wormhole. So that will bring us to sector 2. No friendlies in sector. Sensors offline. No friendlies in sector. Sensors offline. All right, so we are now in um Sector 2, 
and uh, let's see what's uh, going on here in the next episode. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.